Today I wanted to uh, make a video about how to make a hover drop down menu in uh, the deb debut theme. We're going to start off here in this, uh, this is like a dummy store that I set up with this shop code 101 thing. And uh, this is just going to be like your store's admin homepage, so just start out there. Then go to, uh, go ahead and you're going to edit the code of your store, so you click on online store to do that in this left hand menu. Then you're going to click on edit code here after you click on the actions drop down. All right. Now my theme.css file is already open and this is the file that we're uh, using. Yours might not be open. If that's the case, you can either search for it in the search files uh, search bar or you can go down here, uh, open up this assets folder, click on theme.css and it'll open it up for you. All right. Now, what we want to do here is we are going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, right? And then um, what you want to do is anytime you're adding new code to like a Shopify file, it's very important that you leave a comment or this is what I do is I leave a comment um, kind of describing the change and uh, that way in the future, I know the code that I've added to the theme file. Um, and so if anything breaks, I know that it's probably my code and not uh, Shopify's code. Um, and then I also know what things do what and what I can get rid of, what I can change and, and whatnot. It's just helpful. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave a comment, which in CSS to do that, you're going to um, do this bracket and then um, or this this uh, uh, slash and then and then an asterisk. Right. And then uh, I'm just going to put um, like hover drop down. Hover, drop down, I don't know, it's one word maybe, drop down menu, uh, and then that, and then I also uh, leave a comment where the end of the code is, so uh, I go end, hover, drop down, menu, all right, so now uh, we can add our code. So I'll flash the code up on the screen, but I also have it down in the comment section, so uh, that way you can um, you can copy paste it. Uh, so we're just gonna add this code in. And what this code does is it basically um, looks at these classes. This dot site nav has drop down, and then it's like saying on the action and or on the hover and uh, focus actions, uh, it's gonna change this these classes uh, display attributes to block right. And that basically means it's, it's like just going to display them, right? Um, and so when we go to this drop down menu, which if we look at it right now, yeah. So right now it's, it's, um, this is like my dummy site or whatever. Uh, right now, basically when we, we have to click this catalog to bring up these collections and the behavior we want is we want to hover over it and the collections will just pop down, right? So once we add this here, and we go ahead and save. Uh, now, if we refresh this, it should, yeah, see, now it's popping up, right? Uh, the issue is now, though, is that it's popping up, but if we try to move our mouse down to the collections, because we're not getting there fast enough, see, that's how I did, but um, other times, if I don't get there fast enough, basically, it's going to... Um, it's going to change the display back to none, I believe. And that way the, the uh, element is just going to disappear. So what we want to do is we want to move that element up far enough um, where when we navigate down, we're just right on top of the element and that way the element doesn't disappear. And so to do that, uh, that element has this site nav drop down um, class. So we can add that here. Um, and I'll leave this in the description as well so you can copy paste it site nav drop down um, We don't want this to be 30 px. We want this to be 25 px So it's the site nav drop down uh, We copy paste this in and it's 25 px. All right, so we save that and then let's see what that does for us So now you can see the menu is much closer to the uh, or the drop down is much closer to the header And so when I go down, it's not going to go away and then I can click on any of these and it navigates me to the collection. Um, 
So your value here, this this um, PX value, this pixel value here, might be slightly different uh, based upon like how large your logo is over here. Um, it could be if you've done any other custom coding, uh, it could be different. And so um, you, uh, if you have any trouble with that, you can leave a comment down below. Um, but you can just play around with this and get it to the point where it's it's fine. If this video helped you, I'd appreciate it if you leave a like, a comment, and uh, subscribe. Um, I'm going to be uploading a bunch more tutorials as I figure out more things.